Hey guys, this is Maliha from the Site Blogger, and in today's video, I want to show you all the different download options available in Canva. So in front of me, I have this design open on Canva. It's a, it's a logo that I designed recently for my Substack account. It's called What Do I Write Today? And let's see in how many different ways I can download this file. So to download anything on Canva, the first thing I want to do is I, I have to go to share. So the top right button that says share, if you follow my cursor, the giant yellow blob. So under share, you will see download right here. If you click that, the default as of making this video is the PNG file type. So whenever you try to download something, the default file type is going to be PNG. And PNG is great for images. Ideally, uh, PNG is good for logos too, um, but not necessarily for anything else. Also, if you're, if you're trying to download something, um, an image or a design or whatever, for your website, then I definitely suggest not using PNG. So let's see all the different file types that are available to us. If you click it, it opens up a drop down, and then you see all the different types of file types that are available. So the first one is JPG or JPEG, the second one is the PNG, and then PDF standard, PDF print, SVG. Um, that's great for logos usually and icons maybe. Um, if you're especially if you're using them on your website, then uh, for logos and icons, SVG is the recommended file type. Uh, but see that there's a crown sign next to SVG, which means that it's um, it's available only for Canva Pro users. So if you're a free Canva user, you cannot really use SVG file type. Um, and if you want to, you know, try out Canva Pro, if you're currently on free plan and if you want to try out the Canva Pro uh, without having to commit to it, I will leave my affiliate link in the description below. And it's a trial link, so you will get 45 days of Canva Pro for completely free if you use my affiliate link. Anyway, so the next one is MP4 for videos and then the GIF or GIF. I, I say GIF, so I don't know. Um, so basically, GIF is for um, short animated clips um, that you can use on website and whatnot. Anyway, so these are the available options. Now, let's say that you are trying to download a logo. Um, as it is right now in front of me, this is supposed to be a logo file. So I will choose because I'm on Canva Pro, I will choose the SVG file type. And when I click SVG, you see that there's another option. There are a couple of different options. Save download settings. Usually you see it on everything. You can click it. It just re remembers um, what settings you have. It, whether you check it or not, that's not really all that important. But the other one, the first one is transparent background. And if you are downloading a logo, then you should definitely choose transparent background and then you can download it. Now, let's say that you don't have Canva Pro and you don't want to um, use Canva Pro. You just want something quick, um, maybe for um, your publication or your blog or whatever, um, newsletters or whatnot. Then you can also choose PNG and then download it as a PNG file. But even though PNG is free for everyone, um, so you don't have to be on Canva Pro to use PNG and PNG is an acceptable file format for logos too. Um, not the best format, but if you don't have, um, you know, SVG option because you're not on Canva Pro, then you can definitely use PNG. The downside is that you cannot use transparent background even on PNG as a free Canva account holder. 
So to use transparent background, whether uh, you're using PNG or SVG, you have to be a Canva Pro account holder. So we just wanted to point it out so you know that um, transparent background is an, op is an option available only to Canva Pro users. So um, there's that. Um, but look at another thing that's also a Canva Pro option that you have with PNG is compress, uh, compress file. So basically, this option, if you choose compress file, it downloads a lower quality um, format of a file. Um, and it may be okay for like images or something. Um, maybe you're uh, using a PNG image on your website and you want the file to be smaller so you can compress the file. So that's something you can do, but it's also a Canva Pro feature. Another Canva Pro feature is the size. So you can actually, let's say that your design is a certain, uh, design has a certain dimension. So for, for example, this one, let's see, this design is 1344 pixels by 256 pixels. Now let's say that you want to download a smaller file or a larger file you can do that by using the slider in the size basically so you can like make it really big or make it really small so if it's a if it's a design that you're going to use in a poster or something um, maybe you design a smaller version but that's totally fine because when you're downloading you can actually um, blow it up using the size slider but remember, it is also a Canva Pro feature. Anyway, so that's for PNG. Now let's look at JPG. JPG is free for everyone. Um, Canva free users can uh, download JPEGs. There is no way to make JPEG files transparent. So the transparency is only available for PNG and SVG file types. On JPEG, however, um, JPEGs are great for um, images that you want to use on websites and whatnot. They're technically a little smaller, usually, um, than PNG files. Um, also, let, and see that they also it also has a size slider, so you can also make it bigger or smaller using this slide. And again, it's a kind of a pro feature. And the JPEG file doesn't have a compress feature, but it does have a quality feature. So it's kind of similar um, to what we just saw in PNG. But in PNG, um, it's just compress. It's one option, compress file. In JPEG, you can actually use the slider to make sure um, what kind of quality you want. So the largest file type is going to have the highest quality, and it's going to be a large file size. So if you are using it to um, uh, download an image for a website, you would like to, you know, make it a little smaller. And I just want to point out that even though I'm showing you all these different type, different file types um, for this particular design, um, this particular design is actually uh, is supposed to be a logo. So I would typically, ideally not use JPEG or PNG of it, or any other file type for this one um, aside, uh, except for SVG. So for me, SVG is the only file type I'm going to use if I'm planning to use this design as a logo. So some of the other file types are PDF standard, PDF print, and PDFs are usually used for um, document types. So for example, let's, uh, let's open up a document this one. So this is a checklist that I designed some time ago. Now if I were to download this one, I would go to share, click download, and then under file type I will use PDF standard or PDF print. Standard is a smaller file type, smaller size, um, best for using on the web and whatnot, and PDF print is a, it's a higher quality file type and best for if you're actually going to print it out. So just keep that in mind. 
Um, in PDF standard, you also have some options like flatten PDF. So flattening your PDF can help ensure it prints properly. So you can do that if you're printing it out. You can choose. You can check flatten PDF. Um, but if you're not going to print it out, then it doesn't really matter. Um, include notes. Notes included with your download will appear under the page thumbnail. Um, so you, if you have like notes in a design for some reason, you can check it to include the notes uh, with your PDF uh, download. If you don't have notes, then you don't need to. It depends on you know what you're trying to do. And then there's PDF print. Under PDF print, you have another option, an additional option, or well, actually a couple of additional options. The first one is crop marks and bleed. So include crop marks and bleed if you're trimming this design after printing. So sometimes, like if you're uh, design, if you're printing something professionally, like um, like posters or whatever, book booklets and whatnot, and your printer might say that. Uh, you need to uh, save a pre PDF file with crop marks and bleed. So that's something that you have to consult with your printer if you're if you're printing something out um, uh, with a professional printing company or whatever. They might ask you to download your PDF file with crop marks and bleed. So there's that option if you need to use it. And the other additional thing that's available under PDF print is color profile. So RBG best for digital use. CMYK is best for professional printing. So if you're going to, if you're going to print it out with uh, if you're designing a magazine for example using Canva, and um, a lot of professional printing companies specifically ask you to use CMYK. Um, so if that's the case, then you're going to have to use CMYK. And this is uh, FYI, this is a Canva Pro feature. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you you won't be able to use CMYK color profile. So just keep that in mind. All right. So that's for PDF. And the last couple of options are MP4 video and GIF. They're both used for video or animated file types. Uh, I'm not going to go over that. Just uh, just so you know that if you're making a video file, high quality video, uh, use MP4 video. And um, if you have like a like a small meme type file, you know, a short animated clip, no sound. Uh, GIF files don't have sound, so just keep that in mind. If you want sound, then you have to download the file as MP4 video. And if it's just going to be a small file type, just a small GIF, um, no sound, nothing, then you can use GIF. So anyway, these are the different download options available in Canva. I just wanted to go through all of these so you know what's available to you, whether you're a free member, um, and the additional options that you can use if you're a pro member. So, you know, just, uh, just yeah, that's it. That's today's video. And just a reminder, I'm leaving my affiliate link for 45 days of free Canva Pro in the description of this video. So, you know, if you want to just try it out, if you're not sure, if you want to commit to Canva Pro or not, you but you want a few days, you know, 45 days, not just a few days, so that's like a month and a half of free Canva Pro, um, then uh, feel free to use the link below. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I will see you in a different video sometime soon. Bye.